Here's another holiday wonder for you. Credit card using over the phone. We were going to send a bottle of Bahuna Bobbin. <laughs> I can't even pronounce the name. A good whiskey to um, Tennessee. And we can't do that through the local USPS or UPS or FedEx from Washington State into Tennessee. And in Tennessee, they won't deliver it to the door, to the next door. Now you can go pick it up and take it home, but you know. So anyway, in some places we'll deliver it to a home in Tennessee if they have the vendor's license. With the vendor's license costs $700 in order for them to have that special vendor's license to send it UPS or FedEx. And we finally found one. <laughs> anyway, so we found one to send this bottle of special whiskey to this wonderful, wonderful father-in-law of mine who's 86 years old and who I think he deserves the world, Dr. J. <laughs> so take this credit card, get on the phone. Matt did, and he called it in, and you know he made sure that they had all the specifications and all that. He gave the credit card number, and thought the order was in. Enough said. Well, today another credit card company calls and says, "Did you forget us to pay us the bill?" Looked on the account. Sure enough, forgot to pay a bill last month. Oops. Well, good thing that. <laughs> It's like, you know, things just roll downhill. <laughs> so anyway, it's a good thing that they called. Otherwise, would not have gotten online to look at our active checking account, which looked like somebody had decided to take a trip with this credit card <sighs> on an airplane, no less. Um. <clears throat> So, when you <laughs> don't, don't, just don't, <laughs> know your vendors, who you're, who you're making your purchases through online, make sure that the purchases are definitely safe, secure, and all that, and make sure you know who you're calling is who you're calling, and that you know these people have a good reputation. Or if you want to get a good bottle of booze for an in-law or relative who lives over into a blue era territory that, you know, just still have old laws, have a friend of yours pick it up and deliver it in a nice box. Paper, tell them what kind of paper you even want, and even sign the card for you, and <laughs> deliver it for you, because this has been a hassle. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we got it settled through the, the bank. The bank froze the the cell, and everything was stopped. And we there was a number on the um, uh, checking account, is even who the vendor was, who uh, the the ticket, the ticket place where the ticket was bought and managed to stop it, but the people did not put their name on it yet. So we didn't get that far, but we were able to save $256, whatever that was going to be leaving somewhere on a jet plane. So that's my little warning of the holiday season for today. Yesterday it was the FedEx signage. Today it's the credit card. Ho, ho, ho. Mm. <laughs> I've really never had this kind of holiday issues before. Of course, you know, I've never, um, you know, I, I used to send all my own booze over the, the air before too. Of course, I never sent it to Tennessee, but you know, I'd wrap it up and bubble wrap and stuff it in sweaters and all that and send it, no problem. Thanks to everything being double TSA and everything, I'd, they frisk my packages. So, 
relatives do without. But there is the, the booze club, though, and you get three months, and I think you get uh, three months of pretty good high high grade whiskey. So, yeah. <laughs> Leave it to the girl who doesn't drink. <laughs> anyway, happy holidays. I drink eggnog. Mm. Bye. Talk to you later. Yo.